Hello and uh, welcome back to the, the channel. Um, me and John are out this weekend for 24 on um, Micklewright Flash. Um, it's a nice little lake, I'll show you some footage later, but it's a nice lake. We're out for 24 hours. Um, it's a bit of a runs water. We've not uh, we've not had a fish for a couple of weeks, so we thought we'd get on here and see if we could get a, you know, it's it's well known for for um, for doing fish, so we thought we'd get on here and try and get a bend and see if we could um, get some on the bank to show you. So uh, yeah, we're going to do 24, um, and we'll um, if we catch anything, we'll get it on film and we'll show you and later show you the rigs and and where we're fishing and how we're fishing. So yeah, um, I'll just spin you around, and show you the water itself. It's um, it's a nice lake, nice pond. So. So that's the lake, that's my view, there's a couple of lads facing um, across the water who are leaving shortly so I'll be able to cast further out, I've already got them halfway across at the moment so um, so yeah, we'll, um, it's a nice warm day, I'm sure the fish will be biting today and tea time so yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go and uh, we'll report back to you, cheers. Yeah, I don't think I'm the like there's a couple of another couple of lads across across from us fishing, but they don't they're only on for the day, they've had nothing at the moment, and a couple of lads at the side of us who's been on since early this morning and they've had nothing either, so um not seeing any signs of any fish at the moment either. I've been no. keeping my eye on the swim but Yeah. Never know. No, you well you just on it it's it's sort of it's one of them lakes that all kicks off at once, doesn't it? So yeah, they never tend to let you know. You don't get any liners. You just no. shoot, <laughs> yeah. shoot off. Yeah, they do stuff. You get a lot. You got a lot of fifteen pounders commons in here, and they, they just seem to. When you're rocking, they, you feel like you got a thirty pounder on. They just. Oh, they can battle. They do they battle in yeah, here. They go, don't they? They go. <laughs> yeah, they do. You know when you've got them. Yeah. So uh, you never know what you've got what you're going to pull out to you actually get it out. So, so that's what we like coming on here for, really. Mm. It's. Um, so they're not the biggest fish in the world, what's with me here, but they're good sports. So when you've not been having a fish for a few weeks, it's uh, it's nice just to come in here and get get um, get a fish or two. So that's what we're hoping for. Yeah, so, it's a good uh, place to be to test different rigs out yeah, as well if you're yeah. unsure, rather than losing them on a venue where you know it could be a thirty pounder. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, you can see where. Yeah, you can test your rigs so you can see where the holes are and. Mm. And um, how you're looking the fish, yeah. So it is a good, yeah, it's a good system. But yeah, we're uh, so we'll uh, we'll keep you posted of uh, the fish, if any, and we'll get it on film. One of us will film it, I'm sure. Yeah. We'll get some pictures at least, and um, we'll get back to you. So, like I say, we've only only been here a couple of hours, so we've not been here long yet. So. It's got, got to give the fish time to get on that bait and realise it's there, and then we should have something. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll catch you soon. Thanks.
Hi, I've um, just had to go through the, the rigs I'm using today. Uh, like I get, like I say, normally I don't, I don't go to fancy rigs. But all I'm using today is, um, is this. It's about six inches of coated braid um, with a, one of the new Corda Claw hooks on the end, and then all I do with that is uh, thread on the bait. What is a 15 mil boily bottom bait with a 10 mil pop up on the top like that um, just put a just get a stop in there right. like that and that's it, that's all I'm using. So it's a little snowman rig, match the actual snowman rig, cord a claw hook and a, a coated up link with a and that's it really, so yeah, um, it has a bit of silicon on the on the on the shank of the hook just to keep that in place where you want the bait to sit and a little bit of silicon on the end just well it aids to aids the turning of the up but also protects the fish's mouth when um, when it's in its mouth or that braid doesn't quit into its lip and that's that's all I'm using so um, I'm using that on both rods one with match the hatch pop up and the other one was um, with a, an orange orange pop up from the scent from El pineapple ones the, the, the my own orange pop ups I just put them in the, the scent from El, um liquid um, and that's what I've got on the other one. So with a bit of they'll uh, we'll have some on them. Um, we'll have a word with John later on, see what he's using, and um, he's using spinner, I think, spinner rig, and something else, so but his, his own concoction. So he can talk you to his own his own rigs, and we'll see which ones uh, which one works. So uh, yeah, thank you. Good morning. Um, well, it's, it's been a quiet night. Nothing in the night, only a bream at about midnight. Um, and that's been it, really. But it's nothing boshing about or nothing. So um, it's been very quiet for everyone. Just nobody's had anything, I don't think. I've been uh, awake after night listening, but no one's had anything. So I don't know. So I'm going to give it another six now so I'll give it another give it to about ten o'clock and then reassess what we're gonna do. Um well yeah it's been very quiet. Strange on here really because you normally get a normally get a few runs so but anyway we'll see. We'll let it get come get properly light and get a brew on and, and um we'll see what we're gonna do. Alright so I'll catch you later. Get a brew on, bloody hell. A bit of coffee in my damn neck might bring the fish on. Who knows? Mm. 
Well, <clears throat> we can't help. Come to this part of the video now. We're just going to see what John's been um, what John's been using on his rigs. He had one last night, a small common, but it was up past two in the morning, so he didn't bother waking me up to get it videoed. So um, sorry about that. Too but, cold. Too cold. <laughs> so he's just going to show you run through now what he um, what he caught that fish on. What Ricky caught that fish on. So what was it, John? Basically, it's just your simple. Not this knot rig. Right, so it's just, just a normal knot. Yeah, it's just the normal knot, not this knot, but what I tend to try and do is when I'm making the loop, yeah. I try and keep some of the coating on the bait and I just have it so it's just as the bait is coming out there, it's straight back. Also, there's some of this. Yeah, so so it, 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 yeah, if there is a little bit of bird on the air, but where the actual bait is, right, it that bit straight back, and then it'll just sit like that. And you the camera that. And the chap, if you want to take it to there. So, as you can see there, it just has a little bit of braid still on on the air, so the air is not completely the coating. So there's coating on the braid. So, um, and that one, where do you think that helps, John? Well, I just think it helps, you know, it's less a chance of it to tangle. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, 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 yeah, it keeps that bit stiff, but then it allows, so when the bait sits in the water there, you've still got that bit of an inch. Right, right, I understand. Yeah, so it'll sit, sit up. Right. You know, so it just gives that a little bit, it's just my preference. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then I just put a little bit of cheese, that's not really for... It will help it to flip over, yeah. Uh, but the tubing's more for fish safety. Protection of the legs. You know, when it's fish. in its mouth and that, obviously, yeah. you've not got the idea. And what can you get in curve shank? And that is the, yeah, the curve shank, size 6. Yeah, right, right. Have you found the looks to be okay? Yeah, I like the, uh, I either do, it ever depends what mead I'm actually in myself, to tell you the truth, because... I'll either use a curve shank or I've just put another one on out there. Yeah. Uh, but I've done that with a wide gear PEX uh, size 6, that one. Right. But yeah, it's just simple, that's the You don't put no putty on, you don't use no putty on there? Yeah, uh, sometimes, the one I put out there, I mean, I've took it off here now, I tend to sometimes I put a little bit of putty about just sort of halfway down. Right, just coming. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, just not to near, help it. Yeah, not near the bait at the other end. You know, I don't, I don't want loads of things on the actual rig itself, so it's all, you know. Yeah. I well, don't want yeah. it all clumped up with everything. I just try and keep it simple, as simple as right as you can. So you've got that on both rigs, exactly. Yeah, yeah and what, what it is on one of them, I've just got a bottom bait on one of them, so yeah. it's just a single boiler. Uh, then the other, all I've done on the other one, this was match the arch. Right. Uh, on the other one, I've uh, I've actually changed it to uh, a pink pop up, but it's uh, it's the signature one, so it's like a pastel, it's like it's one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the good deal. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just seeing if anything, you know, a bit of colour might get them going, because yeah. I know that it's the one they had last night. I mean, it, normally near when the carp get you, they use uh, the off dam. Yeah, you know. Just got off, but it was a really, really slow, lazy kind of bite. Right. I actually thought it was a beam at first because it was back dropping. Yeah. A bit like a beam was. 
But it wasn't until I actually obviously real been to the fish that I realised, you know, <laughs> it's not a Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, well, that's all the basically. Right, so that's it, that's what John uses and that's what he caught the, what is that, about £10 pound, you say? Yeah, around about £10, something so like that. That's what John caught the fish on, so um, you're there on uh, Michael Wright's, that's probably a nice rig to use because it seems to be doing good business. That rig will do it for you, and it's really, it's a really mm -hmm. good, I mean that, you can change it into a pop-up easily enough. So the no. time now, it's, uh, it's only 20 to 11 more, so we've got plenty of time still to, to get a fish before we go. So if anything does happen, by any of us, by grace of God, that one of us do catch a fish, we'll, uh, we'll definitely get this on film and um, we'll show you what it is yeah. and how it was caught. Time First, to get the kettle on. Get the boot on, yay! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Bring him into the net. Anyway. Yeah. What was it? What was the weight? Fifteen five. Well done. It's not a blank for the session. Well, that's the end of the session. Um, we've done all right. John had one to save the blank on the on the session. So thanks for watching, and um, I hope you all watch the next one. Cheers. Thank you.